tonight we've got another different type of review. Not so much as the macarons, this one does involve ice cream, and uh, it is the My Mochi. So, the good people at My Mochi reached out, sent a package of six flavors. We're going to knock them all out in one shot. And for me, this is one of those desserts, to be honest with you, I've never had. But it's something I've seen advertised, I've seen in stores before. It's just something I've gone by, never, never tried, just because you don't know how it is. I've got way too much to get reviewed anyways. So thank you first for uh, my mochi for sending these flavors out. You know who you are, you're probably watching. Um, so we got six flavors here, knock them out one by one. We've got, you can see in the right my one finger's hiding it. We got sweet mango, banana chocolate cream, ripe strawberry, sorry for the glare. Double chocolate, cookies and cream, last, certainly not least, s'mores. So I wasn't too familiar with the product. Some of you may not be, so I'm going to uh, tell you what it is. It's basically, it's, it's ice cream wrapped in a, they describe it as a pillowy dough. So we're going to dig in. Y'all know I'm not the biggest fan of fruit flavors, so I think those are going to be the ones I like least, even though you never know, you're always pleasantly surprised. So we're gonna start with, uh, let's start with sweet mango. It's pretty cool. They come in this pack of, I'm trying to show you that falling out, pack of six flavors, six um, my mokies, all in one carton right here. Now I cut the sweet mango in half. It was kind of a uh, pain in the butt. Yeah, nice little screenshot here, but. So you can see there, looks like a, uh, you can see the dough, the lining around, the pillowy dough. They're both, uh, the dough is orange and the ice cream's orange, so I'm wondering if they're both going to be flavored mango. It doesn't say, it just says a sweet mango. So the texture is, I'm pleasantly surprised. Right out of the freezer, like, I mean, I've just got these out a few minutes ago, so they're, it's not like they've been tempering for minutes. It's probably been out five minutes, but the dough is like, it's soft. It's definitely like, it's almost like a sticky, gooey, ricey type almost like sticky rice so it's soft the ice cream i can already tell by touching it yeah it's kind of touching it it's it's soft as well so let's give it a bite so I'm looking at the ingredients of the mochi dough and it looks like it's sugar water sweet rice flour that's a that's a first for me but that, that explains like that sticky rice texture i guess and it's got some egg whites and some cornstarch and when i bite into it it's super I don't want to call it gooey, but it's like, it's, it's sticky, very chewy, almost like, um, like chewing some sort of like sweeter, like a, like a fruity candy. Think like Twizzlers or maybe some, like a sweet tart rope, something that's very chewy. I figured out the word I'm looking for. It's gummy, very gummy like. So imagine, not quite like a gummy bear, but like, um, imagine like a Mike and Ike. Is anybody a fan of Mike and Ike's out there? I am. One of my favorite candies hot tamale, something that's kind of gelatin and, and gooey. As for the flavor, like, look, I'm not the biggest fruit fan, but it, it nails mango to a T. Perfect mango sweetness, sweetness, fairly sweet, fruity sweetness. Um, don't particularly love mango ice cream. I love mango sour beer though. And as far as the texture of the ice cream, like, I don't know if you can see, but like, it's already like tempering very fast. Like, I, I, you could take this straight out of the freezer. I know you could bite into it and it, everything about this would be soft. The pillowy dough shell would be much softer than the ice cream, but the ice cream would be tempered pretty well also. The bottom line is this just, it's not my typical go-to flavor. So it's really hard for me to rank it. However, I mean, they, they pretty much, I mean, I can't really, they, they, they execute it. it. It tastes exactly like a mango sweetness and the ice cream has great texture the dough is nice and chewy if you're a fan of mango i would definitely pick this up in the end it's nothing fancy it is what it is six out of ten all right now let's get into ripe strawberry ripe i wonder if it's going to be sweeter so i didn't show you what it was obviously the same same six pack here sorry for the glare same six pack got their pink this time and they're coated in that powdered sugar Almost like a little muffin. And this too has a pink ice cream and it's a pink uh, dough. So I'll be honest, I really, 
I'm not a fan of the, <laughs> the powdery, almost chalky-like coating. And just kind of, it's like dry. It gives it some dryness, which I don't like. I'd rather have the gooey, sticky ice cream texture. As you can see here, lighter pink ice cream, pink dough. And it has a very, very natural strawberry flavor. Not too sweet. It's more of like a, I mean, I don't want to do comparisons here, but anybody who's had like a Jenny's buttermilk strawberry, it's very milky, very creamy strawberry flavor. So it's not overly fruity. There's a nice balance. Once again, you got that same doughy, gummy-like, chewy outer, outer coating. So I'm not going to talk about that on every one of them. I'm assuming they're all going to be the same. I'll let you know if they differ, but this is the same as the mango. So I do enjoy strawberry a little more. My Moki Stripe Strawberry gets a 7 out of 10. All right, now we got Banana Chocolate Cream. So, got a little more, shall we, shall we say, mix-ins to it. So we got a uh, banana ice cream with a creamy chocolate center. And I'm wondering if that banana, thankfully, is going to be not like a, you know, mixed with the cream. It might not be too, like, artificial tasting. And these guys are obviously brick yellow you can see a little bit of the chocolate coming through there let me see if i can get a bite and show you the center chocolate little dot i could definitely go for more the banana it's not artificial i'd say they nailed the the cream aspect of it it's definitely a banana cream almost reminds me of like a banana pudding with the cream mixed in as for the chocolate center definitely sweet Lean towards a, a milk chocolate type of flavor, but it finishes with a, a different type of, I guess I'm gonna call it rich. It's almost like a chocolate liqueur. It cuts through the banana, that's for sure. So any bite, you get the chocolate feeling. You're tasting just chocolate. However, it does pair with the banana well. I'm a fan of banana chocolate. It's just a little too overpowering of the banana. All in all, it's not that bad. I like that they avoided the artificialness that you get a lot of times with banana flavored stuff. The chocolate is, is my favorite part of it, but it's it's also very strong and overpowering. So when you, when you taste that, when you eat that, that's really all you get. However, not a bad pairing. I enjoyed it. It gets a six and a half out of 10. Got powdered sugar, whatever that is, everywhere. So now we're gonna dig into s'mores. And, ooh, these look kind of interesting. So, if I can show you this one. So, we got like a, a chocolate outside, and it's got like a graham filling. Looks like the light. See the lighter color in the middle? Let's see how they describe it, though. Chocolate-flavored mochi. So, the outside's flavored chocolate. We got a graham-flavored ice cream, and then it's got a marshmallow center. You can see right there. I will say, when you straight bite in these things, it is very doughy. It's just like a... Like you're almost chewing like like pizza dough, like uncooked bread. Like it's just that, I mean, they describe it perfectly pillowy. But we got a nice ratio here. So you can see the marshmallow in the middle, the graham cracker or graham ice cream, and a chocolate mochi surrounding that. And unfortunately, I don't get much chocolate from the mochi. I do get quite a bit of graham, quite a bit of marshmallow. It's a nice pairing. It does remind me of s'more. However, I want much more chocolate and i'm just not getting that here and the center is very much like a marshmallow fluff kind of gooey very gelatin like sticky which reminds me i forgot to talk about the banana creams feeling that was the chocolate and that was more like a swirl this is definitely fluff so while i wanted more chocolate to round out the s'more the graham and marshmallow were they, they tasted they're very true to its name and it's a very nice pairing obviously so while it does have its flaws, I, it, I say it's up there. It's definitely above the banana chocolate, and it's, it's right up there with strawberries. So, s'mores gets a 7 out of 10. With just two remaining, we're going to go to cookies and cream, which is a cookie-flavored ice cream with cookie pieces. So, I guess that means the dough is just dough in this case, the mochi dough, pillowy dough. There's no flavoring. It looks like it. It's just a plain... I guess you can say it's a cookie looking color, like cookies and cream. All right, this one's a little off. 
thought I would like it a lot. I guess that just like goes to show you, you never judge a book by its cover. But you can see it's basically like a um, light gray or brown color. Maybe it's a brown color and you can see little cookie pieces here. Cookie pieces don't really do much. You may get a very slight crunch, but the flavor is what's off. It's it kind of reminds me of a very like diluted Oreo, like leftover Oreo milk. Like there's really, it's not that standout. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's probably just like a sweet cream because there's just not that much chocolate involved. And it does, I get for some reason, just a bit of artificialness with this one. Definitely not my favorite. Um, Take one more bite, see if I can get some more crunch. But, I mean, I get it mild, very mild, just leftover like Oreo milk, like dunked in your cookies and milk and drink the milk. That's what you get, very mild flavor. Definitely, this one's definitely off for me. Cookies and cream gets a five out of 10. All right, let's see what double chocolate brings to the table. And I guess it's double chocolate because, not because of the mochi actually, it's because it's chocolate ice cream with chocolate flavored bits. Hopefully not, but it's probably the same chocolate bits that were in cookies and cream. And it looks exactly like what I would expect. Brown. You can't even see it because all this powdered sugar. It makes it very dry. I wonder what the reasoning is behind that. I'd like to know. I would much prefer the straight gooiness, nonetheless. All right, we finally got one that is on point. Good job on this one, my mochi. So, the chocolate ice cream is just, it's classic. Just imagine going, I know I said it before, but going into a scoop shop and you get just chocolate ice cream. Just look up on the board, chocolate. That's what I want. That's what you get here. Mildly sweet, it's definitely not a milk chocolate and it's definitely not a dark chocolate. It's somewhere in between. It wants to lean towards that little slight bitterness, but there's also plenty of sweetness. Very, and a little bit of richness. I mean, it's just, it's a good chocolate through and through it. And I'm sure it has to be with the mochi I chose, but the crunchy bits, you can see them right there, the crunchy chocolate bits. Of course, they don't have much flavor. They're, the flavor, they're too small, but they do deliver quite a different crunch than they did in the cookies and cream. This one is very impressive. Definitely, definitely, definitely. My favorite of the pack. And double chocolate my mochi gets an eight and a half out of ten. So got all six here and go figure. I'm actually reading the box and it tells you how to enjoy. So one, you keep frozen until my mochi time, which is now. Two, you let the mochi sit out a minute or two. So maybe the first one I had or reviewed, which was the mango salad a minute or two, but after that, you're talking probably 10 to 15 minutes. I didn't think it affected that much. So the ones that was in were a little softer, maybe getting a tad soggy. Nonetheless, three, enjoy. So I I personally, oh, and let me read you some more of the flavors. There's, there's way more on their website, but on here they also list green tea, vanilla bean, mint chocolate chip, I think that's it, all they list here. But go to their site, they list a lot more. And they, and they also have seasonals. I know I've seen the pumpkin or pumpkin spice, can't remember, I've seen a caramel apple or apple pie, something like that. So there's definitely flavors for everybody. I think the driving point for these though is that pillowy dough, obviously. That's the unique factor, that the wow factor. That was what makes it different and makes it a novelty ice cream. For me personally, it just doesn't do much for me. I almost didn't like it because it was just so, it's just a big mouthful. Like if you don't cut it and just bite into it, it's a lot of dough. You got the dough from the sides, the top, bottom, it's just, just a lot of dough. I prefer to have more ice cream with it. However, it's a very unique item. So I think it's one of those items that you're either on board with or it's just not for you. So basically I reviewed these based off the flavors alone, but they did execute the dough. Like the last thing you want is a hard dough and crunchy, you know, all that. It is very doughy. They nailed it. I did. Enjoy the review. Nonetheless, thank you, my mochi, for sending them to me. Go out, give them a try. I know they're in stores. I've seen them. Like I told you, I've passed them up from time to time. Probably, probably a year now. I don't know how long they've been available, but they're also online for nationwide shipping. Hope you enjoyed the review. Give them a go. Let me know what you think. See you on the next one.